Let's look at how to change the color of a part with code. I have a part here in the workspace called color part. To change the color of this part, we need to change its brick color property. Just like when we were changing properties before, we first need to instruct the code where to find the part. First we enter game, then workspace, then the name of the part, color part. We'll then use dot, then the property we want to change, in this case brick color. We want to assign a value to this property, so just like before we use the equal sign. Now we have to type the brick color value to use. This property works a bit differently than the other properties we've changed before. We first type brick color, then dot, then we're presented with several options. One of the simplest is to just use one of the preset colors, like say blue or red. If we use these, make sure that you're including the open and close parentheses at the end. And remember, you can get these characters with shift nine and shift zero. Another option for brick color is to type brick color dot new open parentheses and then enter the name of the color you want to use. And if you hover over the colors in the color picker, you can see the names of all the colors. Just keep in mind that the color name is a string and like all of those strings, we have to surround its name with quotation marks. Last, a fun option to use for brick color is brick color dot random. This will assign a random color to the part every time you use it. And just remember that this also needs parentheses at the end to work.